Darling Lena, Silky Lily here, playing Musette with you. In this piece, there's a lot of really, really fun phrasings that we can have fun with the dynamics to really create contrast and character in this piece. When taking your time practicing, make sure you really embellish and maybe be a little eccentric. Go a little extreme in your dynamics. Go loud and really decrescendo. Decrescendo and really crescendo. And then when you're performing, tone it down so that it's just perfect, like a smooth stone. Remember, to make a more piano effect, use less bow in the uh, middle to tip part of the bow. And if you want more of a loud sound, use a fuller bow all the way from the tip to the frog. Using a faster bow is going to give you a louder dynamic as well as being on the higher strings because they have a higher frequency, so they're naturally louder. If you want a more piano effect, remember to just use less bow. It's not about how much pressure we use on the bow, it's about our technique. So remember, stay nice and relaxed and keep the moves nice and smooth and you will be able to create the perfect piece of music. Have a great day, violinists. Remember, leave me any questions or comments you might have so that I can help you with your practice today. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos and tutorials to come. Enjoy!